In this video, you're gonna learn how to create your own GPTs using OpenAI's ChatGPT software. These custom chatbots are gonna allow you to develop new streams of income. And listen, if you don't have the next 10 minutes to watch this video and learn some brand spanking new strategies, then go off and be poor and stuff. Like that's good for you. But if you are serious about leveraging AI to grow your business and grow income, smash subscribe, we're about to go. Let's hit it. Here we are in my chat GPT, and I just wanna explain why you might want to create your own chat GPT bot, your own personal GPT bot. There's a few reasons. A, it's a great way for you to enhance your value to customers, to clients, to prospects. It's a great way to develop new value. Um, you're, it's a way of scaling your own personal knowledge and engagement. If you're answering a lot of the same questions all the time, your own custom chat GPT bot, your own custom GPT is a great way of scaling that. Instead of just being one you, there can be millions of you answering millions of questions anytime. Uh, these make for insanely great lead magnets. Everyone's always saying like, oh, go download my PDF or but nobody cares about your PDF. I'm sorry. But if I can get thousands and tens of thousands of hours of your experience rolled into a chat bot, that's a pretty freaking good mousetrap. Um, and again, I'm gonna show you in this video how to generate new income streams using this chat bot. So anyway, let's go in here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to create a chat bot. And then I'll show you an example of a chatbot that I've created. So when you're in here in ChatGPT, uh, you're going to go over here to the Explore page. Now, by the way, if you're not a pro member, uh, this may not be accessible to you, but join the wait list. It's very much well worth it to join. So you're going to hit this Explore button. You're going to see a bunch of different options here. But what you're going to do is go to Create a GPT. You can see that right here at the top. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And here we have our GPT builder. And one of the things I really like about this is OpenAI has made it very, very simple. So I'm just gonna give you an example of a type of GPT that you might make. So in this example, I'm a relationship and dating coach and I wanna create a chat bot that gives my clients and prospects tried and true advice for getting on dates. Now for me, I would tell you that I'm a relationship and dating coach. I've been married for almost 10 years. I've been with my wife for about 17 this December. so. Let's just say I know a little something something, but forget about it. With Tinder and all that, I can't, I can't even. I can't even with y'all. All you and your, your social media and your swiping right, I don't even know how y'all do it anymore, which is why I need a relationship with dating coach, right? So we type this in. We're going to go ahead and hit the forward button. Let's see what, let's let chat GPT do its thing, and you can see it's going to start to build. Now, I'm going to kind of show you a few ways that you can train this bot here. Um, but one of the things you should be thinking about is what are the frequently asked questions? What are the things I get asked about all the time? This is the type of stuff you're going to want to answer in here. And again, we're going to break that down a little more detail. You also might notice that you have PDFs, documents, maybe you've written a book, you've written blog articles, you've recorded podcasts. You can upload all that by hitting this attach button. It is incredibly, incredibly powerful for training, right? So anyway, I'll go into more of that in the future. So it says, great, how about we name this GPT date coach? Does that sound good for you? Sounds good. And you can see how easily this starts to work. It starts to operate. And you also see here, this is pretty cool. Um, you see, it gives you a preview. This is exactly what your users are gonna see when they log into your chatbot. So you can see over here, it says, how can I make my dating profile stand out? How do I know if they're interested in me? What are some good conversation starters, All right? So this is pretty cool. And again, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to leverage this to generate more income here in a few minutes. So, so smash the like button if that sounds good to you, smash it right now. So the GPT builder here also is gonna create and generate a brand new image for us. This is pretty cool here. Here's the profile picture for date coach. It features a hand-drawn heart-shaped loom, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna say this is good. You could go back and say, hey, no, I'd rather have a person in there. I'd rather have people in there. I wanna have something more sexy or whatever you want. You can go in and refine it. That's okay. So let's say we have the name of the profile picture set for date coach. Let's refine its behavior further. To ensure that date coach offers the most helpful and relevant advice, what kind of dating scenarios or questions do you expect it to encounter most often? And so again, that's exactly what I was talking about. Let's do something like, um, how do I know she's into me, for example. 
And again, you can see that the date coach comes back and it's like, hey, when I get asked a question like that, how would you like me to respond? Yada, yada, yada. Pretty, pretty interesting. And again, and I can't repeat this enough. This is really important. You can upload PDFs. Uh, ChatGPT now has image recognition technology built into it. Just engage, spend an hour, a couple hours, going back and forth with your, with your date coach, with your GPT to continuously train it. Again, uploading PDFs, uploading documents and resources that you've already created. You wanna get those uploaded. There is image recognition, image recognition technology, baby. So it's that is new, that is fresh to chat GPT. So you wanna make sure you upload that. And then I just wanna go over here to the configure button here, cause we have the create, which is where you're just kind of creating, giving it information preview here, where you can go ahead and, and start kind of engaging and seeing what the responses are gonna look like. But the configure button here is, is pretty interesting too. You can change your name, you can change the description, you can see these are the instructions that it's been given and you can continuously go in here and add more. You can add conversation starters, which I think is really important. If, 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 if you know the questions that your audience has, you can add them here and again, continuously tweak the answers. You can up you can upload the files, which we've talked about, and I would encourage you just to check off all the capabilities so that your chatbot is good to freaking go. Now, so this is an example of the datecoach.ai, which I'm not gonna go public with. Uh, once, as you're going, of course, you're gonna wanna hit uh, save. You can save and publish only to you. You can publish it potentially only to your clients or people that have paid you for, the, for it. Maybe this is, again, maybe it's paid, maybe it's $10. For the app, maybe it's a good way of getting the first dollar out of someone so that you can upsell them in the future. Maybe you're giving it away for free as a lead magnet. I don't know. Maybe you're going public and you're going to put it on the GPT marketplace and it becomes uber popular. And again, how do we monetize that? I'm going to show you here in just a moment because you probably will be able to sell it on the GPT store, but I'm going to show you a way that you can start monetizing your GPTs today. All right, so let's, we're gonna kind of back out of this. I'm not gonna save this because I'm not a dating coach. I'm not even gonna try to be a dating coach. Holy cow, y'all are crazy out there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the podcast consultant here, okay? The podcast consultant is my chatbot that I've been working on here for, for hours. Um, that, and that's what I do. I run a podcast production agency. We automate shows for clients. Basically, you submit a 15 minute video and uh, we take care of the rest. We turn that into a blog, podcast, YouTube, social media, email, we do it all. So if you're a busy business owner and you need a digital presence, that's what we do. I have a lot of resources. I've got a lot of documents. So I'm gonna show you how I uh, created this thing, right? So here I am in it, and we're gonna go to the edit GPT. Edit GPT, because we're gonna edit this chatbot here, all right? Um, and I'm just gonna kind of go through how I've configured this thing here. Uh, the name is Podcast Consultant. Here's its description. It's a podcasting guide which focus, with a focus on editing tools and professional services. And you can see here in the instructions, this is all stuff that I've kind of uh, plugged into it here, okay? One of the things you'll notice here is there are specific links. There are specific links here. So for example, it says, when suggesting editing software, recommend Audacity for audio with a link. Adobe products with a link, Descript, et cetera, et cetera. And so this is a really easy way for you to monetize your GPT. A lot of the links that I provided are affiliate links, meaning if a prospect, if a client, if someone who's using the GPT says, hmm, that sounds good, I will try, I'm gonna click on that link, I'm gonna try that product, I'm gonna get a commission. I'm gonna get a freaking commission and so will you maybe, and I'm gonna show you how that plays out here in just a moment, but that is a really great way of monetizing your show and, or monetizing your GPT. You also notice that I've uploaded several new, several PDFs, I'll be uploading more. I also just wanna take a step back here and say that these don't necessarily, all the information that you feed it doesn't necessarily need to be original to you, okay? Maybe there's some resources out there that you know are legit, you can take inspiration from that information, maybe some sentences, maybe some lists and stuff like that. And you can use those to program your GPT. For example, maybe there's a YouTube video that you know is just sick, nasty, and really, really valuable. Well, you could share a link to that YouTube video in your GPT. That's what, you know, and this is one of the problems that people have with ChatGPT right now. You know, I'm using ChatGPT, it's giving me all this information, which is great, but it's not giving me an actual link to a product. It's not giving me a link to a deeper training. You can program your GPTs to give those types of resources. 
And as your, yo, know, listen, this is your brand, but as your brand, as your GPT becomes more popular, um, it'll build the credibility and the links that you're, you're creating are going to become more credible and credit. And this is ins insanely powerful, right? And again, we're, we're checking off all the capabilities, but let me show you what this looks like in action, right? So for example, someone comes in here and says, um, you know, what can you recommend resources for podcast editing? We'll click that button again. Um, I'm, I'm kind of on the tip here, but I might say like, what is, um, what is the best or, or what hardware, what hardware do I need for my podcast? I'm just going to add that here to the recommended conversation starters tab, right? Anyway, so we click that first tab here, that first question, which is, can you recommend resources for podcast editing? And you know what podcast consultant is going to do. It's going to give you the goods. It's giving you a link to Audacity, a link to Adobe, a link to Descript. It even gives you a link to my website where you can get professional editing services. It's giving all these links. And a lot of these links are affiliate links meaning at no additional cost to that person, if they use this recommended item, I'm going to get a cut. You can start generating income from your GPTs today. Today. So sick. So super sick. Let's ask it another question, all right? So first off, let's go ahead and update this. We're going to confirm. This is public, by the way. I'll put a link in the video down below, in the chat down below. But let me give you another example here. So let's go to, uh, to preview. Let's go ahead and refresh the screen here. Let's go to preview here. So I want to remove this, where can I learn more about podcasting? And I want this, what hardware do I need for my podcast? Let's click that button. And I'm going to show you the power. You are going to see the power of the GPTs right here. And you can see that the GPT is going. And of course, what it's going to do is it's going to recommend the hardware. And then at the very end here at the bottom, it's going to give you a link to my Amazon page where anyone that buys something from my Amazon page, I'm going to get a slight commission from that. And this is, and listen, this is the stuff I'd be, I recommend anyway. This is the stuff that I use in my own damn studio. It's my own mic. It's all that. So super, super, super killer. Oh, but you'll see here, and I'm just going to move my, my, my face here. You'll move, I'm going to move my face. You'll see here that it didn't actually, and this is why it's important to test. It didn't actually recommend my my amazon store that's a problem because i want people going to my amazon store i'm trying to not only help people but generate income all right so what i'm going to do here because it did not do that is we're going to train this is why we're training it here okay so i'm going to go over here to the create and i'm going to let it know hey anytime someone asks for hardware recommendations to start or for their podcast, make sure to rec make sure to give a link to my Amazon store with recommended items. Okay, and then I'm just going to go get the link to my Amazon store here. Here is the link. This is very important to share with users. Okay, so I've, I've added these specific instructions. I've added the link. I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter button here. And let's see what chat GPT, what my GPT says it's going to do. Because I'll tell you what, I've run into this issue a few times. Depending on the way that I've asked it questions, it might not necessarily give me the links or the resources that I want. So you got to just continuously be building on this, playing with this. And over time, as you can see, you can always add in new information. Maybe, for example, I learned about a really, really nice new piece of hardware or a really great um, new AI tool. I can always come in here and add it. So anybody that's using my podcast consultant is keeping up with the newest, freshest ideas. So listen, I went in here and I said, hey, let's update it. said, okay, cool, I've got you. We're going to go ahead and add, add that Amazon score, score, store link. Now let's go back and let's click this button here. Uh, can you recommend uh, what hardware? Let me move my let me move my beautiful, amazing face here. We're going to move it over here. And so I say, hey, what hardware do I need for my podcast? Now let's see what the podcast consultant says.
and let's let it do its thing here. And you can see it's going down here saying, you need a microphone, you need your boom arm, you need your shock mount, you need your headphones, you need all this stuff. Let's see what it, where it goes. And, and again, as an expert in your category, you can kind of think ahead at like, well, what would the next question someone say? If, you, if you've been in business, if you're a consultant, coach, whatever, if you're an expert in your field, you know the questions that are going to come next because they're frequently asked. And you can see here it says, okay, for podcast recommendations, you can visit Mark Savant Media's Amazon store. And there it is right there. Now people can go right to my Amazon store, right? Where you can get books. Watch, by the way, if you're not reading, you're failing, keep reading. Um, and it has all my, my information there. And then I might say something like, um, do, you, do you have in instructions on how to set this up and to use it? Right, because this is, and, and to me and my agency, this is one of the major pain points is how do I actually use this stuff? Um, that's a pretty common question from clients, right? By the way, is this interesting to you? Are you finding this interesting? Are you finding uh, some new ways to generate income? Smash subscribe, smash like, and share this video because that's what this channel is. This channel is setting you up for success with the newest AI tools. I wanna help you make some damn money. There's no reason to be broke right now, y'all. There's so many ways to make money and AI is opening up so many pathways. I'm gonna share them all on this channel. So make sure you smash subscribe. And you can see it's just going through here. Now, another thing that I might say is, I, is I'm continuously training this. So I might say, hey, here's a, you know, sh make sure to share a link to my blog if someone wants to learn how to set up their hardware, right? Or maybe it's not even my blog. Maybe it's to like a Think, a think Media video. I say, um, if someone's looking to set up their microphone, send them to this Think Media video. This one's really good. Right, So you can start to give, at the end of the day, this is about giving value to your users. You want the people that are using your GPT to be like, damn, that was good. That really helped me. And, and for example, this says, hey, go to Mark Spot Media's YouTube playlist, which is a playlist of a bunch of videos designed to help people um, you know, grow, you know, start and grow their podcast. So you can start to see how this can start to manifest. You could see this is a salesperson. This is the best salesperson on my staff because they're working all the time. They're working all the time. Is, is your mind blown? Is your freaking mind blown? This is bananas. So um, using, creating these GPTs is a great way to provide more value for your clients. It's a great way to bring in new clients and it's a great way to generate new streams of income. So check it out. Play with mine down below. If you ever thought about starting a podcast, or you want to automate your podcast, I'll put a link to this down below. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Now go. Go, create your own GPT right now, okay? Start making some damn money, all right? That's the best, that's the best thing you can do for me, all right? I'll see you next time. Peace.